a lousy 250k is what might have costed to take SA rapper AKA's life. Hello everyone and welcome to Fresh Trends. According to Times Life, Deben Sinkabi industry charges between certain amount of money to assassinate people. The KwaZulu Natal taxi owner, who chose to remain anonymous, revealed in an interview that the hitmen who were hired to kill rapper AKA Kenan Forbes were probably paid 250,000. The taxi owner added that three hitmen were probably hired to assassinate the talented rapper. He said, He was a popular musician who was always with people. You need someone to drive the getaway car. You need someone who is where AKA is, giving you details about what he is doing. Then you need the hitman to pull the trigger. He adds that the hitman charges from 10,000 for an ordinary person who has no bodyguards and charges up to 500,000 or a million rand for more dangerous people. Yes, they say if you are a well-known person, then the price goes up. Again, this hitman bribes bodyguards. So the taxi owner that spoke to Times Life went on to say, the more dangerous you are, the more costly the service. It can go all the way to 500,000 or even a million, depending on how dangerous the person is. Some assassinations are so complex, they can take six months to execute. If you want to kill someone who has a lot of bodyguards, that hit cannot be done in just a few weeks. According to the CCTV footage, the rapper was shot dead by two hitmen on Florida Road in Deben, outside Wish Restaurant, on Friday, the 10th of February, together with his former manager, Tibelo Tibbs Motsuwane. The taxi owner added that the hitmen who eliminated Kinen, aka Forbes and Tibbs are experienced professional because they only killed two people in a group of many. The Inkabe hitman needs to get as much knowledge about their target as possible to lower the risk of getting killed. Times Life went on to say, AKA killers are likely known in KwaZulu Natal because the industry operates as a network and young men are trained and hired in taxi wars or any other businesses that they are needed. The rapper is the third musician to be murdered in the past three months after Limpopo born ama piano artist Opa, DJ Somebody, John Sufoka, and Itumeleng Vusi Maara 5. This country is something else. Killers are known. It's known how much they charge and they get interviewed by media houses. All this is normal. Before all this news of AKA, SABC interviewed one of the hitmen and asked him to go into detail who they are and what they do. And he said, I am hired to help people who are in trouble. You find us in a church. We go there to ask for forgiveness. We believe more than all the congregants. We pray to be cleansed because we shoot people for a living. This job requires boldness and bravery. You should not have conscience. You should be able to sit and eat with the person and later eliminate them because you have been paid to do so. Our clients are high-ranking people. I operate like intelligence. I research my target. I monitor their movements. I find out about their habits. I investigate where they live. I have to be thorough to avoid mistakes. I hack their phone to see whom they communicate with. After I am satisfied with my investigation, I then consult the ancestors of my target. I perform a ritual in the river and ask permission to eliminate them because they are troublesome. One would think after such information, the South African Police Service would have gone to do something about the Inkabe syndicates, which could possibly prevent the loss of AKA's life. But one thing as well that he said, they work with the police officers and they work as well with the bodyguards. They are all humans. If they pay them, the job is going to be done anyway. That's all that we have for now. Until the next time, please do not forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel.